ChatGPT went live November 30th, 2022. So it's been about 20 months since AI has been easily accessible to the public. And since then, we've seen a huge rise in artificial intelligence in our everyday lives. I mean, I'm sure we all remember this video of Will Smith eating spaghetti, and it just looks so... Yeah, but just a few years later, we got videos like this coming out. And to the untrained eye, or even some of the trained eyes, it's hard to distinguish if that's AI or realistic, especially if you're just glancing across the screen really quickly. Our list just created a new AI voiceover that sounds a lot like a human. I mean, if you're not looking for it, you won't find it. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty good. No personal bias, of course, but uh, there's definitely something there. I know I'm going to use it. See what I mean? So today I want to share my thoughts because the main question that everybody's asking is this. Does AI pose a real threat to humans? Well, some of my favorite movies tell me yes, but let's see if that's really true. So I want to look at ChatGPT, for example. When it first came out, it was revolutionary, and it really was. And people thought that this was going to take us all by storm, that life would never be the same. And to a degree, that is true. I remember when I first started using it, I was thinking this thing is way faster than me. It can come up with ideas better than I can. It will replace humans. But here's the big thing that I noticed. If you asked anyone before the big release of ChatGPT, you would ask them this, which industry do you think it's gonna disrupt first? And usually it was a more analytical industry, like maybe bookkeeping, accounting, or something like that. And the last industry that almost anyone thought it was going to replace was the creative industry. But if you look at it, it's actually been quite the opposite. The creative industry has been the one that's had the most impact by artificial intelligence. Like I said before, Artless voiceover is going to be replacing voice actors. Dolly is going to be replacing graphic designers and photographers and artists. The Sora video generator is going to be replacing videographers and filmmakers. And ChatGPT has been replacing authors, scriptwriters, songwriters, copywriters. It's even breaking into the music industry. So AI does pose a threat to humans. But here's where I'm going to switch the tables. Because though it does pose a threat to humans, it doesn't pose a large threat. Let me explain. When ChatGPT first came out and I was looking at it, just the fact that it was creating something fast and it was creating something kind of good made me think that it was the best, that it was going to be better than humans. But the more that I use it, the more I realize that it's actually not that good because of this one reason. It has its limits because unlike humans, AI is only allowed to think within the box that you've given it. And you can only make the box bigger, but you can't force it to think outside the box. That's where humans be AI. And here's the big distinguisher. AI does pose a threat to humans and it will replace humans jobs, but only the mediocre humans. If you're a true creative and you force yourself to think outside of the box, then yes, AI will pose a threat, but if you can keep innovating, it will never pose a large enough threat to where you could be losing your job. Hey, real quick, I know you're enjoying the video, but I just want to take 30 seconds of your time Timer's right there to explain something really cool to you. If you're a business owner that wants to improve your brand identity or your lead nurture assets, then go to powercrownstudios.com and provide you with video, social media, and photo materials so that you can take your business and improve your online presence. It's absolutely free to book a call. I would love to work with you. All right, back to the video. Because the more I use it, the more I realize that its creativity is only dependent off of the creativity that you give it. And yeah, that does stink a little bit for two reasons. If the work you create is mediocre, then now you're seeing that your job is being threatened and you're gonna have to choose to either get washed away or pick up the pace. But if you're in the other camp and you start thinking outside the box, that means you're also gonna have to push it harder because before you know it, AI's box is gonna get bigger to where it envelops your current outside the box. So you're gonna have to innovate and get better and it's gonna get bigger, you're gonna have to get better. So you're always gonna have to try to stay ahead of the curve. But is that really such a bad thing? I mean, as humans, we started out living in caves and now we live in pretty nice caves. We went from fire to nuclear power plants. We went from grunting to satellite communication. Humans have always had to innovate. I just think that recently we haven't had that much of a need to innovate. We're living great lives. We have awesome tools. Everything's going great. So with this rise of AI, we suddenly see it as a threat to our normal, our livelihood. When in reality, we should just be seeing it as the next call to innovate even more. And is that to say that we should completely avoid artificial intelligence? No, not at all. Because for this one reason, it is going to get better and it is a strong tool. And there are gonna be people that use it. And it's just like a computer. When the technology first came out, there were still businesses that were working on books and papers, but the businesses that did adopt this new technology, they were able to move forward faster and get better. So the technology is here and you do need to adopt it. 
But here's what I'm saying. Instead of treating it as the main focus or central idea of your business, that treat it like a tool. ChatGPT is great for brainstorming and I've used it to help me brainstorm some ideas, but I'd rather have it help me brainstorm ideas so that I can then take my creative process further instead of me using my brainstormed ideas to try to take its creative process further. You see what I'm saying? You wanna switch the roles. People think that it's going to be in the front lines. I think that it should stay in the back and support those that we actually want to be in the front lines, AKA humans. Because the whole point of AI is to make humans' lives better. So if we're dedicating our lives to make it better, then that's where we're messing up. But if we can use it to make our lives better, that, that is an amazing thing. There's this quote I heard and I like it, I'm gonna paraphrase it, but it's pretty much this. If it gets to the point where AI is doing all the creative work and innovating and humans are pushing paper, then we've messed up. And I think that is so, so true. So to wrap this all up, yes, there is a strong rise of AI and yes, it has been a disruptor and it will be a big disruptor in every industry. And it will take jobs from humans, but only the mediocre ones. If you can always stay ahead of the curve, you can continue to innovate. Then you will be stronger than whatever else this AI is gonna be pushing, at least for the present time. And that's a great thing because humans always need to be innovating. So if this is gonna be the thing that lights a fire under our butt to get working, they know, you know what? I love it. And as I wrap up, I'm gonna include a shameless plug. If you're a business and you're scared of how AI is going to affect you, then go to powercrownstudios.com. I help you with your branding and with your lead nurture stuff by giving you materials that can help you improve the look of your business. Schedule a meeting there, I would love to help you out. But if you don't own a business, you're just creative and you wanna know how to stay ahead of AI, here's my advice to you. Always innovate, always push your limits and pass your limits because when you do that, you raise the bar and you just keep doing this over and over again and you become better and better by default. So I hope that video has been helpful to you, got the brain juices flowing. If you liked it, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna learn more about my thoughts on this topic, check out this video right here, made it about a year ago and I kinda like it. If you don't want anything to do with that, then uh, check out this video right here. YouTube thinks you'll like it. All right, until next time, this has been Estevan saying stay safe, stay creative, and God bless. Estevan out.